make your list and check it twice. I'm ready for Black Friday. I'm ready to go. <laughs> the busiest shopping day of the year is nearly here. This is your Transformers Grimlock. And in one step, it transforms from robot to dinosaur. And whether you're buying toys or crafting gifts. It's just a more personal touch that shows that you put more thought into it. It's time to start thinking about the holidays. We'll help you be consumer-wise shopping for the holidays. You can't miss the holiday spirit here at International Plaza in Tampa. At the center of it all, the Ice Palace, featuring the hottest children's movie of the year, Disney's Frozen. Hi, I'm Angie Moreski. Welcome to our Consumer Wise Shopping for the Season special. We've got decorations all around, and of course, it wouldn't be the holidays without shopping and deals. When it comes to deals, you can't beat Black Friday. But scoring those super savings takes planning. Let's check out some of the hot items this year and strategy on how to get the best bargains. Hot deals. Best deals of the year, hands down. Door busters. If you're getting a $65 shirt for five bucks, you can't beat it. And super savings. Oh yeah, you get very good deals. Black Friday is a holiday tradition many shoppers wouldn't miss. I'm ready. I'm ready for Black Friday. I'm ready to get. <laughs> Gets you in the spirit of things. You know, some people like to get there first. I think it's fun. I think it's amazing. I mean, the deals are great. Um, I love coming out here. The crowds. I love. I love. I love the atmosphere. Oh yes, the atmosphere. But to get the deals, you have to battle the crowds. We're hoping that the lines are not so crazy, but if they are, the weather is at least nice. Every year, Best Buy is a favorite for diehard shoppers. They set up tents days before to get first crack at blockbuster deals on electronics. The doorbuster specials are prices that we don't see any other times during the years, um, and you can get products for less than half price. Getting the best deals takes strategy. Developing a plan to get the best deals is all about scouring the ads. Best Buy, Target, Walmart, Kohl's, Macy's all put out their Black Friday flyers well in advance to give you time to pick your favorites and develop a strategy. Try to get there early before everybody else does. <laughs> Uh, we get up like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. We pick our stores before we go to see who's got the best deal, and we rush. I go for whatever I see. <laughs> As you're grabbing hot merchandise off the shelves and moving through the aisles, it's a good idea to have a list in hand of the items you want and know are a good deal. Don't get distracted browsing for whim purchases that might not be the best bargain. We've got smart watches, tablets, game systems. Best Buy manager Jim Murphy showed us some of the hot items this season, starting with the 4K ultra high definition television. And you're going to see probably some very good discounts um, on Black Friday and throughout the holidays on these because it's, it is, it's what everybody wants. They want that great resolution. You've got three different light bulbs that will fit in any of your traditional sockets. Also hot, home automation, like the Philips Hue, which can change your lights to any color you want, triggered by everything from the phone ringing to a text message. Like if your husband sends you a text message, it can blink the lights a particular color in your house. Tablets are another must-have this year. The Microsoft Surface Pro and the new iPad Air 2 are the two biggest names, but don't count on big discounts for those. They generally go on sale a lot of times, but maybe not necessarily a doorbuster special. <laughs> <laughs> also, be aware, while some of the best deals hit when the doors open, many are scattered throughout the day and night to keep shoppers coming. Generally, your best releases are in the morning, uh, but we do see last year at midnight, we did a couple, another round of some doorbuster specials for those people who came later. And this year, many Black Friday specials will once again start on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. People are asking for it. People are wanting to be able to get to as many stores as possible, and it's giving them that opportunity to do it. It's a great place to be after having a nice dinner. It's a great way to burn out all the calories and fat that you just ate from the turkey. Starting early does help spread out the crowds, but a lot of folks still prefer the old tradition. I feel like Thanksgiving should be a nice day where you can gather with your family and be able to eat and talk about fun stories and how you used to not 
Let me eat. Hurry up. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Don't worry if you decide to take a nap and skip the crowds on Thanksgiving Day. Plenty of good deals will still be there on Friday over the weekend and, of course, online. So watch some football and have an extra piece of pie. It could be on a Sunday. It could be on a Saturday. It doesn't mind. As long as the deals and prices stay the same, I'm a happy man. mind, opening and closing times will vary from store to store and mall to mall, but to make it easy for you, we'll keep an updated list on our website. Just look for the Black Friday section. All right, even if you love the energy and adrenaline of the crowds, knowing how to navigate the mall can save you a lot of time and headaches. Getting in and out quickly is the key, and that starts with knowing the best time to come and shop. My best advice is that you come first thing in the morning at 10 a.m. when we open. You have a three-hour window of pure shopping bliss. On Black Friday, most people hit the big box stores first in the morning, which gives you a nice window at the mall when crowds are down to do shopping here. Another thing we need to keep in mind this year is protecting our credit card information. Major security breaches at several stores last year had us all worried. So do we need to be concerned again this year? Most of us use credit and debit cards for holiday shopping, but major security breaches at stores like Target and Neiman Marcus last season made it clear we're all vulnerable. You know, you saw what happened with Home Depot and those places last year. It's, it can easily happen to anybody. I am very concerned. Now I'm getting cash and going shopping. According to the Secret Service, holidays actually are not a target time for major breaches. The agency has not seen that there's any type of a spike of credit card fraud during the holidays. It's a 365, 24-7 crime that takes place year-round. This is an interesting type of a skimmer. Where These are tools of the trade for local criminals, but suspects for major breaches are often overseas. They're able to hack into the larger corporations here to steal either personal information um, or credit card information and they'll take that information and they'll sell it on the black market. I have actually been the victim of a uh, of an incident with my debit card. I did have a bad experience last year. One thing to keep in mind, if hackers get your credit card number in a major breach and sell it on the black market, sometimes they use it right away, but sometimes they don't. Like with the target breach, people will check their accounts on a regular basis to start with. And then after a month or two, they'll determine, well, I haven't seen anything wrong, so I guess I'm okay. Not okay. Let your guard down, and that's when they strike. Always monitor your accounts. If you're monitoring, you're likely to catch something quickly. I went shopping the other day. I've been checking it a few times a day right now. It's also a good idea to use credit, not debit. You have less um, responsibility for that payment. If you dispute that charge, they'll, they'll take that charge off of your credit card bill, where with your debit card, that money's coming directly out of your account. With debit, it's often harder to get the bank to reimburse you and takes longer if they do. Maybe I'll reconsider my uh, Christmas shopping habits and look at using a credit card and just paying it off as quickly as possible. You can always use cash, of course, but one thing you do have to look out for during the holidays is counterfeit money. There are a lot of people who get stuck with counterfeit money because they don't take the time to hold it up to the light to see if there's a watermark that matches the uh, um, president that, sh that should be there. So don't get stuck with counterfeit cash if you get change at the checkout. Hold your bill up to the light. Each one has a unique watermark. On the 20, it's Andrew Jackson right there on the right. On the 10, Alexander Hamilton, and if you're lucky enough to have a C note, it's good old Ben Franklin. One of the most fun things to do with this cash over the holidays is to buy stuff for kids. So what is the must-have hot toy this year? We took a trip to Toys R Us to find out. Scouring the aisles to find just the right toy can make your head spin. Christmas is coming. Do you know what the kids want yet? Uh, they want everything. <laughs> she wasn't kidding. I want all this <laughs> Alicia's four-year-old is like most kids, but since they can't have everything, Toys R Us tries to help by putting out its annual hot toy list. This is your Transformers Grimlock, and in one step, it transforms from robot to dinosaur. From Transformers... Leonardo, and you stretch them... 
And the more you stretch, the louder he gets. To screaming ninja turtles. Nightmare for mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> to something a little more tame. I have the Little Live Pets bird cage. They're singing. Yes, they are. I like it. Now you're talking. Hello, little bird. You know who this is, Emmy? And of course, we can't forget this year's big Disney movie. Anything Frozen will be a hot item this year. Check out Frozen Snow Glow Elsa. I'm Princess Elsa of Arendelle. I can do snow magic. Her dress lights see? up, and of course, she sings whenever you push her magical snowflake necklace. I know a lot of kids who won't let this one go. Jennifer Wheeler says it's all things frozen for her six-year-old this year. It's all about let it go. Loves it. Absolutely loves it. Whatever the age or interest, there's a wide variety for all kids. There's not really one hot toy. Every kid's different, so what one child might like, another child might not like. When it comes to picking, it can be hit or miss. Pull his arms. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, you don't like him? <laughs> <laughs> Two-year-old Julian wasn't much for the ninja. I'm Max Totra. I can go up to 200 pounds. Whoa. <laughs> Getting warmer with a good old-fashioned truck. But watch this. See the butterfly? Ah! You like that? <laughs> now that's more like it. Little Live Pets does it again. For me, a uh, Halo and a new Xbox. And time-tested favorites are always safe. Do you like Legos? Yes, ma'am. I like the fact that I can be creative and make a lot of stuff. You can't go wrong with Hot Wheels. Wants me just opens them up and just plays with them. Eat, 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 some me. Is that good? Bye, bye. Finding just the right toy is priceless. Here's hoping you make the perfect pick to put a big smile on your little one's face Christmas morning. Now that's what the season is all about. Okay, we've got much more ahead for you. How about trading those packed parking lots for a gift with a more personal touch? Usually it's just like, oh my goodness, that's so pretty, or oh my gosh, I can't believe you made that, things like that. Oh, that must make you feel good. It does, yeah, it's really nice. Still ahead, the perfect present isn't always inside a store. We've got some ideas for homemade gifts. And be sure to check out our website when we're all done here. You'll find those store opening and closing times and that hot toys list from Toys R Us. Just click on the Consumer Wise and Black Friday page. The holiday season brings back a lot of memories and certainly many about Black Friday. We ask shoppers here at International Plaza, what is your craziest Black Friday story? I have camped out once at Walmart and I will never, ever, ever do that again. I'm actually from the north, so it's a little different over there. Yeah. Uh, lines, hot chocolate, people serving, tents overnight. We're actually planning to do it here. It's fun. It's, it's intense. I don't really like big crowds of people, but uh, for kids, you'll go out and get anything. are in full force here at Tampa's International Plaza with all the decorations and lights. Welcome back to our Consumer Wise Shopping for the Season special. I'm Angie Moreski. Well, sometimes it's easy to figure out who to buy a gift for, but when it comes to tipping and co-workers, it can get a little more complicated. But here to help us figure it out right now is Kim Goddard, our etiquette expert. Kim, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, thank goodness there are some rules involved here to help us out with this stuff. Let's start with a simple thing. What about giving cards and gifts to co-workers? I think if you're going to give one, you give to everybody. This is a time when emotions are running rampant. I mean, up and down. And you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Don't feeling. hurt anybody's feelings. It's a card. You get a box of Hallmark cards for eight dollars. You Very know, simple. and include everybody. That's a good. That's a good rule. And, but gifts are a little more tough, right? I mean, uh, you give one to everybody. If, what about the people you work with closely? Well, sometimes that can get touchy. Now, if you and I work closely together, and I don't work with everybody else, then I could give you a little something, or I could ask you just 
keep it private. This is something for you to take home. What types of gifts? I mean, a bottle of wine, chocolates, what's appropriate? I really like the idea. You know when we say, oh, let's do lunch, and you never do lunch. Right. I like giving somebody a gift card for just $10 or something, saying, here's that lunch I was never able to buy you this year. I love that. Something like that. It doesn't have to be too expensive. Now, this is a biggie. When it comes to tipping, to show your appreciation to the people that do services for you throughout the year, uh, what is the general rule of thumb for that? You know, your hairdresser, your babysitter, lawn care, that kind of stuff. The general rule of thumb for a service is to give them whatever that service is worth. So if you're if you're babysitter, you normally give $25 for the evening, give them an extra $25. But as I just speak, it's just adding up and adding up. So if your hairdresser, if it's like $75, are you going to give them an extra $75? So I'm not one to really give money because one, I'm an excellent shopper and I think I can get more for that $75 than just giving $75. And it could also be something at home, something, you know, baking. And people discount that like, oh, well, that really doesn't mean much. How long does it take you to do that? And, you know, it's just, it's a meaningful gift. And that's what the season's about. All right. Well, thank you, Kim. Lots of so good much. advice. Thank I you. do appreciate it. Thanks. No faux pas, no worries. We'll have some of these rules for you on yes. the website as well. Thank you to Kim Goddard, Thank our you. etiquette expert. We have lots of tips for you today on buying gifts, which is fun, especially when you're saving money. But sometimes you want something with a little more personal touch. A homemade gift might be just the thing. Liz Funk has been crafting for as long as she can remember. I'm making an ornament for a friend of mine whose baby is having his first Christmas this year. She says homemade gifts are easier than you might think to make yourself. Get on Pinterest because Pinterest is probably my favorite website for craft inspiration. Tons of great ideas from ornaments to kid-friendly crafts to holiday wreaths, one of Liz's favorites. When I get a card in the mail, I just clip it in there, just like this, and it holds it up and displays it for the whole holiday season. How cute is that? The crafting hobby this high school math teacher started as a kid is now her number one way to give gifts. It's just a more personal touch that shows that you put more thought into it. Homemade gifts are definitely more sentimental. Check this out. I got these wonderful homemade icicle ornaments from my Aunt Mary years ago. I still put them up on the tree every year and think of her. And there you go. Baby Kevin's mom and dad will have this keepsake for many years to come. If you like the idea of making homemade gifts but are not very crafty like me, there's a great place you can go online called Etsy. It's an internet marketplace where people buy and sell homemade crafts. Liz even opened her own shop on the site to sell her crafts. Baking, of course, is the other way to make a homemade holiday gift with a personal touch. I may not be crafty, but I do love to bake. Every year I use my mom's old recipe book, handwritten in Italian, to make the Christmas cookies we loved when we were kids. It's a wonderful gift, especially for siblings and cousins to bring back memories, and they're delicious too. No worries if you don't have your mom's old recipe book. Just go to a site like cooks.com, plug in the name of the cookie you want, and up pops a recipe to get the job done. And you can improvise a little to make it your own. Yep. A little more than a quarter. No matter what you make, the extra effort will be appreciated. Usually it's just like, oh my goodness, that's so pretty, or oh my gosh, I can't believe you made that, things like that. Oh, that must make you feel good. It does, yeah, it's really nice. Whether it's cookies mm, or crafts, try something homemade this year and make it your best gift ever. If you're too busy to make it yourself but you still want that homemade feel, try checking out some local craft fairs. We'll list some dates and locations for local craft fairs on our website, which are coming up before the holidays. And we'll link you to a great nonprofit called Casey's Cookies, where you can order homemade cookies made by people with disabilities. Great gift and a great cause. 
Well, how about dropping some cash with the click of a mouse? Cyber Monday, shopping made easy. Hello, smartphone. <laughs> it's easy. You can stand right there and do it. Like, we can stand right here and talk and I can do it. Still ahead, the holiday shopping weekend caps off with online perks. We'll take a closer look. Shopping for the season is all about getting that perfect gift. So we ask shoppers, what's the most memorable present you ever received? Stick with us. Our shopping special will be right back. Uh, best gift I ever got right here. Oh. Uh, this is my wife. <laughs> I met her at a Christmas party, so that was my, my best gift ever. When I was about 10 or 12, I got a, my first brand new bicycle, which was, <laughs> I was ecstatic about that. Stuff that my kids make me, it doesn't matter what it is, it's just, it's just something about them putting their hearts into it that just makes it awesome. music and holiday atmosphere. The season has arrived here at Tampa's International Plaza. We've joined Santa here on the other side of the Ice Palace taking requests for gifts from children. Welcome back to our Consumer Wise Shopping for the Season special. Well, it all started with Black Friday and big businesses cashing in on shoppers. Now, local businesses want you to remember them too. The push is called Small Business Saturday. It encourages you to shop locally local at places like Strands of Sunshine in downtown St. Petersburg. Owner Amy Marshall says buying at a small business helps to boost the local economy. You can see me back here at my workbench making, you know, the item that you're going to be able to give us. So it's going to have a story to it. Uh, so it's a little more meaningful. Credit card company American Express came up with the idea of Small Business Saturday back in 2010. The deals continue when you head back to the office after Thanksgiving. Cyber Monday is now rivaling Black Friday. Let's take a look at the booming trend and how you can get the best deals online. The simple click of a mouse or a swipe on your smartphone is a welcome way to bargain shop, especially after the mad rush of Black Friday. Sales are actually much easier to obtain compared to waiting in line. Do you do Cyber Monday? I do Cyber Monday, but I mean, I like them both because of the deals. Ah, yes, the deals. That's what it's all about. I always love to save money. Yes, ma'am. I have three kids always need to save money. <laughs> I hear you. Me too. Tampa Bay Business Journal editor Alexis Mulner says Cyber Monday has become just as important as Black Friday. Cyber Monday has gotten huge. I mean, you know, I think it's about to rival Black Friday in terms of sales. Last year, Cyber Monday was the biggest online shopping day in history, raking in more than $2 billion in sales, a 20% increase over 2012. Walmart, Kmart. A growing number of those sales came from mobile devices. Devices. Hello, smartphone. <laughs> it's easy. You can stand right there and do it. Like, we can stand right here and talk and I can do it. To help you find the best deals without having to go to dozens and dozens of websites, there are actually deal tracker sites like dealio.com and cybermonday.com to do a lot of the work for you. They highlight all the best deals, coupons, and free shipping from hundreds of online retailers. You check it out all in one spot, then click through to the actual retailer. Before you place an order, compare prices at sites like pricegrabber.com to make sure you're getting the best deal. That's amazing. <laughs> it saves a lot of time and a lot of money. From a pure price point of view, Joanna says Cyber Monday deals are even better than Black Friday. They do bigger discounts um, over the leftover stuff or whatever. I don't know what it is, but it's cheaper. And you can't beat free shipping, which shoppers love and most retailers offer as a standard perk on Cyber Monday. The domain should match. You do have to be careful though. Hackers are out there trying to take advantage of online holiday shoppers. It's very simple to create a website, if you know what you're doing, with fake products on there with ridiculously low prices you know, collect all the credit card payments to an offshore account and then close up and be gone in the next day. It makes sense to stick with major retailers and websites you know on Cyber Monday. Look for a security tag at the bottom of the screen to confirm it's a trusted vendor. It's just verifying who they are. The different ones are the GeoTrust, Trusty, there's a Vera sign, there's various different ones. When you go to check out, make sure the HTTP in the address bar becomes HTTPS. Oh, you want the S there? Yes. The S means what? It's just secure. 
That's all it stands for. And it's basically switching from an unencrypted page to an encrypted page. Cyber Monday first took hold after Thanksgiving in 2005 as workers returned to the office where faster internet connections made online buying easier. A shopping event was born. And now, nearly a decade later, it's so popular, deals aren't just on Monday anymore. That They're going to start Black Friday, and they're going to continue through Cyber Monday and Cyber Tuesday, and it becomes really a week-long event. And, of course, social media will play a bigger role than ever on Cyber Monday. So if you network with your favorite retailer on Twitter or Facebook, they'll send you messages about their best deals. Easy, convenient, and no crowds. You can do it on your own on your own time whenever you want and nobody needs to be around you and you don't have to really fight for anything. But don't forget what's most important. Get my wife something she absolutely wants. Yes, smart man. We all want to make our loved ones happy and getting a good deal is nice too. Save money, big deal, yeah. <laughs> And take note, to avoid problems like last year's bad weather, most retailers are setting earlier shipping deadlines, so don't procrastinate. This year, most websites you'll have to buy on or before Friday, December 19th, to guarantee delivery by Christmas. And the U.S. Post Office is also gearing up for the busy season, too. Be sure to ship early to get your gifts to their final destination. The Postal Service gives these guidelines to make sure your packages are delivered in time for Christmas. We're posting them on our website. Just look for the Shopping for the Season section. As the snow begins to fall here inside Disney's frozen ice palace, we're reminded of what the season is all about. Those special moments, getting together with family, friends, and loved ones. So we asked some shoppers about their favorite holiday memory. My favorite holiday memory would actually be putting up my first Christmas tree in my own home. My wife is from England, and we went over to England for our very first Christmas together, and that was just really cool. It was just nice and nice and uh, cold outside, and just being able to sit inside by a fire, it was so memorable. And then just meeting her entire family for the first time, and it was really a lot of fun. I think the best gift is just being with family, you know. Uh, it's definitely a good time coming together, and everybody's there having fun and laughing, and just seeing that is it's pretty amazing to me. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season filled with many great memories. That's all for our Consumer Wise Shopping for the Season special. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angie Moreski. Happy holidays.